members of a local church have plans to transform an old house into a free medical clinic for the community. Yeah, Emily DeVoe explains what sparked the idea in the first place and when that idea will turn into a reality. We uh, have had this house for several decades. It used to belong to one of our uh, pastors from back in the 40s. For years, the wooden house next to West Lonsdale Baptist Church stood without purpose. And we've searched for years for a purpose for it and a use for it, and we've just never come up with why we had the property. Pastor Todd Halliburton says after looking at the needs of the people in the neighborhood, it became obvious what they needed to do with the vacant property. This used to be a, a sitting area, probably a living room, uh, bedrooms. The kitchen was back behind over there, bathroom. We have ripped out all the walls so that we can start from scratch. They made plans to turn the house into a medical clinic. There's a high rate of, of uninsured uh, people in our community. When it opens, it'll be free to patients who come in the door looking for help. And people just come in and, and if they're sick or if they're hurting or whatever, Dr. Rankin spends a great amount of time with them, um, gives them a plan for follow-up uh, medical care, and people just come in, it'll be like any doctor's office. The caveat is, um, it's for people who don't have medical insurance. The main door entrance is gonna be over here, come into a waiting area, and where we're standing here will be one of the examination rooms. After receiving final approval from the city last week, the major renovation work will start in a couple of days. If all goes well, they hope to be open within the next six months. When construction is over, the clinic will open one to two days a week, but eventually, and hopefully, that'll turn into five days a week. However, the pastor says he wishes that they didn't need a clinic in the first place. We love to see people um, coming in and getting health care, but ultimately five to six years down the road, um, it would be great for me if it no longer existed because changes have happened that are meeting medical needs of people. People are finding employment, that are giving them insurance. Um, maybe the culture in America has changed a little bit to, to make insurance more affordable for the average family, but I don't know that that's going to happen. So we want to see this place um, functioning with volunteer doctors and volunteer nurses uh, that are coming in and here to meet people's uh, physical needs. And also their spiritual needs because Christian faith and love is seeped into every floorboard. In Knoxville, for Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe. And the pastor says they will be working on the exterior of the house by the end of the week. Come on. Good stuff. Well,